Mtazamaji wa Kenya wameweza kuomba wanajeshi wa taifa la Kenya KDF pamoja na wanajeshi wengine Kenya hami kuweza kushirikiana ili kuweza kumuondoa bwana William Samoei Ruto mamlakani yani waweze kuleta mapinduzi na kuweza kumuondoa mamlakani kwa sababu wameweza kuwatesa wa Kenya wanasema kwamba ushuru ambao ameweza kuwawekea harama ya maisha ambayo ameweza kuongezea hapa nchini ana kuweza kukua over throne wa Kenya hawa waliweza kumshambulia bwana Ruto kipindi ambapo bwana Ruto alikuwa anahutubia taifa la Nijaa jinsi ambavyo wanajeshi wa taifa hilo wameweza kumtumbua na kuweza kumngatua mamlakani wa rais wa taifa la uh, Nijaa ambalo alikuwa anazungumza nalo kupitia kwa kanda karibu ichindi cho kituo chako na nambari moja cha Kenya ni media ambacho kinakusogezea matukio ya hivi punde tafadhali na kuomba uweze kuchukua sekunde yako moja uweze kupiga subscription manake mtazamaji naisi kwamba kama hujaweza kupiga sub unapitwa na mingi zaidi ukipiga sub uweze kubonyeza kengele na uweze mtazamaji ku like video utakuwa umechangia kwenye ukuaji wa kituo hichi na mara pap tunapoachia video kama hizi ambazo tumeweza kutembea kwa mitandao ya kijamii na kuweza kuzia kiki unazipata mara moja kuna mahali pengine unaweza ukapata habari kama hizi mtazamaji na kipindi ambapo unaendelea kukomenti na kuomba tafadhali tupe eneo lako ambalo upo sasa hivi kama uko ndani ya plus 254 tupe mkoa wako ama kama uko nje ya plus 254 tujuze taifa ambalo unatupata kutoka kwalo sasa hivi jina langu ni Mr. Ego 8 karibu wa Kenya mbali mbali kwenye mitandao ya kijamii wameweza ku gang up yani wameweza kukusanyika na kuweza kuomba wanajeshi wa taifa la Kenya kufanya jambo hmm? kufanya lile jambo na kuweza kumngoa mamlakani rais William Samoei Ruto kwa kila ambacho wanasema kwamba ameweza kuwatesa ahadi ambazo aliweza kuwapea kipindi cha kambini hawaza hawajaweza kuziona Uh, gharama ya maisha haijaweza kupunguzwa. Wa Kenya kipindi cha maandamano wanauawa. Yaani wanasema kwamba ili rais aweze kuondolewa mamlakani anataki yaani anapaswa ana wanajeshi ama wa Kenya wanapaswa kuwa na kisingizio. Kisingizio gani? Amekataa kuwarahisishia wa Kenya gharama ya maisha. Anawaua wa Kenya kipindi ambapo wanaandamana mtazamaji anakiuka katiba ambaye aliweza kuhapa kwamba ataweza kuilinda anakiukaje anateua watu ambao ama ana, ana, anaunda kazi ambazo haziko kwenye katiba kama ya CAS pamoja na mambo mengine wa Kenya hawa walikuwa wanasungumzia swala ambalo bwana Ruta alikuwa anasungumzia alikuwa na address a, taifa la Nija ambalo wameweza kumuondoa ama wanajeshi wake wameweza kumuondoa rais ambaye alikuwa anaongoza taifa hilo mamlakani yani wameweza kuleta mapinduzi tukianza kugeukia kidogo tuweza kuangalia kile ambacho Ruta aliweza kusema alafu niweze kukuonyesha jinsi ambavyo wa Kenya wanataka aweze kuondolewa mamlakani the Kenyan government has joined the list of states opposing the military coup in Niger speaking on Friday president William Samoei Ruto uh, termed the, uh, the happenings an unconstitutional change of government and called for the release of Niger president Mohamed Banzum who has allegedly been held captive following the Wednesday coup. Mnamo siku ya Jumatano kuniradhi. Mnamo siku ya Jumatano katika taifa la Niger wanajeshi waliweza kumtumbua mamlakani rais wa taifa hilo ambaye umeweza kusikia nafahamika kama Mohamed Banzum. Umeweza kuona bwana Ruto ameweza kujitokeza na kuweza kujiunga na kuweka kuwepo miongoni mwa mataifa yale ambayo yameweza uh, kufanya nini kuweza kukataa tukio hilo wameweza kusema kwamba hiyo ni kinyume na katiba wacha nikuulize mtazamaji kinyume na katiba haje rais asiondolewe mamlakani kipindi ambapo anawaua wa Kenya ama anawaua wananchi wa taifa hilo kipindi ambapo anaenda against na constitution ambaye aliweza kuinua jua kaweza kuhapa kwamba nitailinda nitaitunza ana kiukaji nimeweza kukueleza anateua anateua kazi zingine zenyata hakuna eh, CAS haya PAS 
kuna kesi fulani ambayo tuliangalia asubuhi mahakama iliweza kukataa ya PAS unaweza kuwa yani eh, public administrative secretary unaweza kuona mtazamaji tena anawekea wa Kenya ushuru ambao haupo kwenye katiba housing levy vitu kama hizo mtazamaji so <laughs> Ruto anaenda kushughulika na mambo ya nijaa anaacha ya kwake Ajasa, akumbuki alienda kuchokoza Sudan Sudan ikamtishia kwamba wanataka kushambulia Kenya walianzia na kuhack mitambo ya websites hapa nchini hmm? The head of state father stated that the coup went against the constitutive act of the African Union which condemns the rejection any cost, any unconstitutional change of government. Ye yeah, anasema kwamba eti ili rais aweze kubadilishwa lazima kura ziweze kupigwa. Kura zitapigwa aje kipindi anaiba kura mtazamaji. Eti ili rais aweze kuingia mamlakani constitutional lazima apigiwe kura. Sasa utapigiwaje na kipindi ambapo wewe umeorganize umeleta kina uh, au jamaa anaitwa aje huyu akutoka taifa la Venezuela. Ose Kamago wamekuja wamekuingiza mamlakani. Si hata wewe basi uliingia mamlakani unconstitutional. Eh? Ndiye ana condemn mali kwingine. Ina video message Ruto father urged all parties to engage in constructive dialogue to avoid chobada sai jio pada saying the life hoods and uh, lives of Nigerians. So mtazamaji huyu anasema eti kwamba anataka waweze kusungumza kipindi ambapo kwake yeye mwenyewe anadanganya Raila eti kwamba wasungumze kidogo kidogo anaenda na nyamaza. Muone mtazamaji? Hmm? In his statement the Kenya president government offered to assist Rija to resolve any conflict should it be deemed appropriate by the African Union. Yaani Bwana Ruto ataki kushughulika na ya kwake. Ataki kwanza kabisa aweze kuleta dialogue ya kuweza kupunguza ushuru kwa wakenya. Ya kuweza kupunguza harama ya maisha kwa wakenya. Yeye ameenda kusema anataka kwenda kuleta dialogue wapi? Ni jaa iwapo watamhitaji. Sasa watahitajije mtu kipindi kwake maandamano ni mengi. Kipindi kwake wakenya wanauawa. Na wanauawa kipindi ambapo wanatafuta maisha. Mweza mtazamaji kipindi ambapo wanatafuta maisha. Mhm, mkenya na uawa kipindi ambapo anatafuta maisha. Una, wacha ni kuonyesha kitu fulani hapa mtazamaji. Wacha ni kuonyesha kitu fulani hapa. Usikie venye huyu jamaa na condemn ni jaa. Mhm, ana condemn ni jaa kwa mapinduzi. Yeye <coughs> hataki kushughulika na ya kwake. Hataki kushughulika na ya kwake. Aache mambo na Aache na mambo na kuwaua wa Kenya. Kipindi ambapo unajua una, unapinduliwa kutoka mamlakani hivyo basi umeweza kuenda kinyume na katiba ya taifa ambalo wewe ni kiongozi. Umeweza kuona? So ingekuwa ni vizuri uweze kusikiliza kitu hichi. Ichi. On Wednesday, Africa suffered a serious setback in its democratic gains as the aspirations of the people of Niger for constitutional democracy were subverted by an unconstitutional change of government that deposed Mohamed Bazoum, a democratically elected president. The Republic of Kenya joins the rest of the world to condemn in the strongest terms this unconstitutional act that subverts democracy through a coup d'etat and calls for the immediate release of President Mohamed Bazoum, who is reportedly seized by members of the Presidential Guard. Throughout our continent's history, we have strived tirelessly to nurture the principles of democracy, aligning ourselves with the aspirations of the African people for freedom and self-determination. This fundamental norm is crystallized in Article 4P of the Constitutive Act of the Africa Union, which unequivocally condemns and rejects any unconstitutional change of government. The government and the people of Kenya earnestly urge all parties involved to refrain from further escalation that might jeopardize the lives and livelihoods of the people of Niger. We call for the swift restoration of constitutional rule 
ensuring the protection of the population and a return to full civilian authority while upholding utmost respect for the country's institutions. In this moment of strife, we implore all parties to engage in constructive discourse to restore peace in this fraternal nation, which has steadfastly stood as a bulwark against terrorism and its agents in the Sahel region. The resurgence of military coups and attempts to subvert the will of the people on our beloved continent demands a united and global response to hold those responsible accountable for their actions. Let us stand together as one to reaffirm our commitment to democracy, liberty, and the progress we have achieved. We must remain vigilant, guarding against any slide back into dark days that threaten the hard-fought gains in democracy. Kenya is willing to assist in resolving the conflict under the auspices of the Africa Union should it be deemed appropriate. Africa shall continue to shine as a beacon of hope and progress and we shall never waver in our Tusiende mambo mengi mtazamaji. Umeweza kusikia Kenya anasema? Anasema kwamba yupo tayari kuweza uh, kusaidiana ili kuweza kuleta amani katika taifa hilo. Hajaweza kusa, anasema kwamba eti kwamba ni vibaya kuweza kuondolewa mamlakani. Hajaweza kusahau kwamba kwake anazidi kuangamiza wa Kenya ambao wanaandamana. Hajasahau kwake kwamba anazidi kwenda against the constitution. Alafu ndiye anaenda kuingililia mambo ya wenyewe. <laughs> Sikia venye huyu Kenya anasema Andrew Jiaji. Why the hurry in his talk? Africa must raise up against the rigging in the election whether people say a million words per second. Huyu anamwambia mbona mikimbilia kusungumza eti kwamba ni vibaya watu wamepindua rais wa Nija. Eti Africa kwa inafaa kukuja pamoja na kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba hamna mambo ya wizi wa kura. Mweza kuona this man for sure anasema kwamba i don't know why we pray and god answers prayers in different countries tulikosea wapi yani huyu anasema kwamba mbona sisi tunaomba kwamba bwana ruta aweze kuondolewa mamlakani lakini uh, uh, Mwenyezi Mungu anaenda kujibu ma, maombi yao katika taifa lingine unaona kama huyu anaitwa nani huyu mbona ni, wacha nikusomee jina lake anaitwa Terry Kim Joshua anasema mbona tunaomba Mwenyezi Mungu hapa nchini Raila Odinga aweze kuingishwa mamlakani, bwana Ruta aweze kutumbuliwa mamlakani. Mweza kuona. Lakini uh, lakini lakini akaweza kufanya nini? Mungu Mwenyezi Mungu ameweza kujibu ma maombi katika taifa lingine ambalo <laughs> ambalo ni uh, la Nija. Oduor Mark Oduor akaweza kusema kwamba Ogola is coming for you. Kumbuka kwamba iwapo William Samoei Ruto atakawa overthrown yule ambaye atashikilia uongozi kwa miezi mitatu ili Kenya tuweze kuelekea kwenye uchaguzi ni Francis Omondi Ogola. Je, mtazamaji wewe umeweza kuchukuliaje ili tendo la Wakenya kuweza kusema kwamba wanataka bwana Ruto aweze kungolewa mamlakani? Wewe unaona kwamba can it be possible uh, the way Nija has done? Sema nasi na rejina mingi zaidi. Jina langu ni Mr. Goit. Tazamaji ukipiga subscription hautakuwa umekosea kabisa. Kwani utakuwa umejikatia tikiti ya moja kwa moja kuweza kupata habari zetu ambazo ni legit ambazo zimeweza kuhakikiwa. Sicheza mbali na kuletea habari jinsi ambavyo wanaruta ameweza kukimbizwa na hali shababu.